video. This is a bigger problem because most people know in that world and the world that I come from in Hollywood, that it is a hidden layer that everybody knows is there. When the Me Too movement started in 2017, I reached out to several of my female actress friends who were prominent in LA. You would know them by name. Many of them you would know by just their look because you go, oh, that was her in that movie or that movie. And I said, well, what about the children? What about the children? And, they, and the response was, we know, we know. But they were silent on it. And it destroyed me because it destroyed my illusion of what rights, human rights were, children's rights were. This is a child abuse system that we have been living in for a very long time and it's been allowed to go on. And I will not be silent about this because it affects every single one of us. The people on television who smile at you, who tell you stories, who give you news are the ones who hide all of this from us. They are not talking about the real issues. They are distracting you with division issues. This is a unification issue. When the Maxwell Files came out 48 hours ago, I went on MSNBC, I went on CNN.com, and I looked at every single one of their headlines, and there was no mention of it whatsoever. They were talking about John Lewis's funeral. They were talking about Obama versus Trump. All of the bullshit that you and I hear every single day. And it doesn't matter what side of the political equation you're on on this. This is a child issue. This is a human issue. This is not a political issue. It has nothing to do with left versus right, Democrat versus Republican, liberal versus conservative, or anything you are or you identify with as in between. We are faced with a crisis of consciousness among the leadership of our banking institutions, of our media corporations, of the Hollywood entertainment industry, of the music industry. This is not about a bunch of young women who were having